Hey, it's Ed Vargas here, and in honor of my thousand subscribers, why anybody wants to watch my videos, let alone a thousand people, let alone a thousand people wanting to subscribe to them, is beyond me. But since you guys have been so supportive and uh, been helpful, I shall reward you all with my latest portable build of RetroArch and Emulation Station for Windows. This one's different because it can be run on a USB stick or an external hard drive, and the configurations are all there, the cores are all there, it includes a couple games. Uh, and it's all pre-configured to just work, so you don't have to worry about all the headaches from the last videos. Um, so I will show you how to set it up. The description or the download is in the description below, and it comes out to be a .7z file or 7zip. So download 7zip and extract it, and you'll extract your files into your USB stick. And so that's drive F in my case. So we extract it there. I've already extracted it. So we open up into our F drive whatever drive your USB stick is and you go into your ROMs folder and you'll want to transfer over the ROMs that you want and then this step is very important in the main emulation station also make sure it's in the base of your USB stick when you extract it um, otherwise it may not work and same thing if you extract it into your uh, C drive on Windows uh, you'll have to make sure it's in the base of your C drive otherwise if there's spaces or other things it won't work in the file path so uh, important, you don't want to select the one you usually select, you'll want to select the portable batch script and there's a full screen mode and a windowed mode and you'll notice that you can also change the resolution if you want to, to a custom resolution. So you double click on that and it opens up into uh, the first start screen and you'll want to configure your gamepad or keyboard, just hold down a button, up, down, left, right, A, B, start select up down okay and then you'll be welcomed with this and your other roms that you've also supplied uh, it's got super mario world which is a great game and i think everybody should have it i've also included some custom skins on this game and then i also included fix it felix jr which is also a quite fantastic game uh, Fun fact, it wasn't actually ever a retro game, it was something Disney made. But anyways, we open it up and I'll show you a couple of settings that you can mess with. So, go into F1 and it opens up into the quick menu. And also a quick tip, if you hold down the Windows button and click up, it automatically expands. Um, so in here you can change the settings for your video settings, your input. So we go into settings, if you want to configure your controller for the game, uh, just go into input and then go into into bind all and then it will open up into a little thing you can configure your controllers with um with you if you're trying to change your uh keyboard controls you'll probably have to do that in the back end in the retroarch.cfg because it for some reason doesn't recognize uh stuff here you might if you change it to retro keyboard it might recognize them but i'm not entirely sure and then uh, if you want to change your video settings you can make it go to full screen here by changing it to on or you can change the aspect ratio to 4 3 16 9 uh, whatever your preference is anyways those are just a few settings that you might want to mess with if you're uh, if you're picky about those things otherwise everything should just work and then you can just go back into quick menu and then change it back out and that's Basically what is uh, you can change your themes by pressing start and then UI settings and then change it to centered theme, clean look, and there's a few different ones. Um, I can't guarantee all of them will be nice, but so that's all those. And then if you want to configure it manually or in set up your own portable build, I've included a guide on my uh, GitHub wiki. Uh, for portable this is basically the steps I went through to build a portable build and it's got the DLLs you might need uh, and if you want to do a different version of RetroArch you can do that and it also has the ES systems config uh, backup so if you ever forget or lose that um, that's there as well so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy that thank you for being so supportive and for uh, watching my videos I'm glad that you enjoy it and that I've helped some of you I hope that my videos are helpful and that's really my goal is to just do all the things I do and just provide some documentation that might help other people as well that have have the same interests 
So thank you for being so supportive. I'll keep, I'll keep doing some videos with RetroPie and RetroArch and probably start doing some long plays of uh, other stuff. But yeah, thanks. You guys are great and have a fantastic day.